Hello everyone. Today I have come up with an interesting topic for youth that is when to get married and what is the right age for marriage. Very interesting topic now. So anyway, so as per the survey people said that 28 to 32 years is the right age for marriage because at this age most of the people will be matured in their behavior and they have a stability in their mindset and financially so that's the reason as per the survey 28 to 32 is said. Let me throw my inputs and let me give you my suggestions what is the right age. So first thing I would like to say is complete your academic track without any disturbance. You might be having some ambition, some aim. So what do you want to do in your life? What is your qualification? What should be your qualification? So that you decide first go it slowly, flawless. There should not be any disturbance. Like I want you to PhD, go for PG, MPhil, PhD, like you have to complete. If you are doing MBBS, then after that MD you have to do, then stability. So like academic track should not be disturbed. Because once if it is disturbed in between your studies, getting married and then once again focusing on studies is very difficult. Because you will have responsibilities towards your spouse, children, parents, financial aspects and uh, facing problems, handling everything at small age is difficult. I am not saying it is impossible, but it is difficult. So uh, that, is what, that is the reason better to complete your studies first than after marriage. There are many people who have done, who have uh, concluded their success after marriage also. Even I have done my MBA, MPhil, PhD, everything after marriage. It is difficult, but anyway you can do it. But better to, if you have a choice, complete your academic track, then you will be free, you will enjoy your life without any burden. So this is the first point I would like to say. And second thing is maturity in behavior and attitude. That is very much important. Sometimes uh, the youth who is having a less age, also they will have maturity. It is good. It is a good sign. But some people who do, who do not have much maturity but getting married. So these people will have a lot of conflicts, misunderstandings and also divorce and uh, you know finding a lot of violence also. So this everything because of immaturity. So that maturity, the way of thinking, everything should be very clear then only you are eligible for marriage. Till that period just wait, have an understanding about life, study the life of some people and study the life after what, what would be the life after marriage. Like you can have a small understanding then after that you can just go ahead. So second point is maturity in behavior and also attitude. This is very much important. And the third aspect I would like to throw, financial stability which is very much important. Financially you must be very much sound enough to face the situation to, uh, to have a, spa, a beautiful life. Financially you need, to, you, need to, you need not to have any kind of problems. So free from financial burden. So that is the reason I would suggest always uh, complete your academic track then after that have some financial stability, uh, earn income properly and if possible have own house or flat something else then have some bank balance then get married. Of course ancestors property is also there for some of the people and for others I would say please have some financial stability. Then you will not have to throw your mind on financial aspects, other aspects you can take care. Now I would like to tell you now what is the right age for marriage. Let's calculate. Suppose say post graduation you wanted to do. By the age of, uh, by the age, uh, by completion of this post graduation it could be 22 to 23 years. Then after that please complete at least 2 to 3 years in job or business something you do it. Then after that you can just get married. So this is the right age. Means 22 plus 2 to 3 years, 5, uh, say 25 years, 25 years is the right age for marriage. Means you, you have completed your academic track and got a job experience or business experience, you have got an understanding about life, then after that getting married is the right thing to uh, go for marriage. And nowadays youth are searching for perfect match. What is the meaning of perfect match? Please remember my dear youth. No one is perfect in the world. 
somewhere something you need to compromise for yourself there are many parameters like beauty social status financial status qualification age religion caste somewhere you need to compromise no one is perfect let me tell you a small incident say mr a is searching for a perfect match he found it b said a mr a congratulations you got a perfect match come on go ahead what is the a's reply you know yes i got perfect match but she is also searching for a perfect match no it means he is accepting that he is not perfect no one is perfect that is why please compromise at somewhere and the bottom line of this talk is i would suggest the youth youth to get married 25 to 27 years at the most if any difficulties if any problem you can stretch up your age up to 27 to 29 also but don't get the spot of 30 years especially in our indian culture you know that once if you get a spot of 30 years 30 number it's very difficult to get the right match especially first marriage so that is why please remember this my dear youth complete your academic track don't distract yourself get a job have a financial stability then plan your life and there is another case also there like uh, who could not get married at the age of 40 50 some were getting married better late than never i would suggest please go ahead and partner is needed in your life so whatever may be the age in any case also so you can just go ahead but especially for youth i would advise you to go for below 29 years only hope the talk is useful for you any other comments you want any suggestions your opinion please write it in the uh, comment box so thank you very much for all your affection recently i have started in cookery channel cook and serve with devika bhatnagar please go ahead and the other channels also there like devika's commerce and management academy and also learn uh, carnatic classical veena classes by devika bhatnagar that channel all the links are given in the description box other playlists are there like how to improve communication skills body language job skills and health talks everything all the links are given in the description box box please go ahead improve your skills and be a perfect and a very beautiful life spend your life and uh, there is no second life so please remember this spend your life happily and share your use with me thank you all for your affection take care uh, always keep smiling keep shining good luck